What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a happy new year. Today I'm gonna to be going over, is the CASPA transcript entry service worth it or not? Here we go. So something that I wanna start in 2017 is have a screen with the main ideas of the video so you guys can follow along or you guys can just write this down you know, to take notes. Today's main ideas, the first one is what is the professional CASPA transcript entry service? And the second point is, is this service worth it or not? So this video is gonna pertain more to the individuals that are applying this April. And if you're not applying for another year or so, it's still nice to you know, go over this video and figure out if you think this transcript service is worth it for you. So let's get started with what is the CASPA transcript entry service? So basically when you're applying and you're filling out your application, you have to fill out a transcript or your academic history in the CASPA application. What they want you to do is have all your transcripts and put them in word for word, letter by letter, as it is written on your transcript into the application. This is a really tedious thing to do, but everyone has to complete it. And for me, personally, it was very doable. So what the professional transcript entry service is, is basically you send all your transcripts, which you have to regardless of if you're using the service or not, to CASPA. And basically, if you don't want to fill out that section by yourself, you can pay CASPA to have someone else part of their team to fill out the transcript entry, you know, word by word, letter by letter, so there aren't any mistakes. So on the website, it says that if you have one to three transcripts that you're sending into CASPA, it's going to cost you $65. If you have four to six transcripts, it's going to cost you $90. Seven transcripts, it's going to cost you $140 on top of all your additional CASPA application fees. So one thing to note about this transcript entry service is once you submit your application, you need to have at least two letters of recs into your application and all your transcripts sent in and then it's gonna take up to 10 business days for them to do the service for you. So that's 10 additional business days on top of the verification process for your application. Is it worth it to pay for the transcript entry service? My answer is no. And I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of heat from CASPA if they watch my videos and they see that I'm telling students not to you know, pay for their service, but this is only my opinion. You know, it might work for you if you have additional cash lying around. But I've also heard some stories that, you know, this transcript service has made mistakes in people's transcripts. So if you're not gonna use the transcript entry service, what I recommend is having all your transcripts sent to your house on top of being sent to CASPA. So send an additional copy just to yourself to have. Once you have the transcript sent to your house, it's gonna take you about two to three hours to fill everything out, but that's gonna save you 65 to $140, depending on how many colleges you've attended. And really, it's not too bad. As long as you have your transcripts in front of you, filling it out letter by letter and word for word is not as bad. It's just taking the time to sit down and getting it done. If you really don't want to fill it out yourself and you have additional cash lying around, it doesn't hurt, but I really recommend that you just fill out the transcript entry and your academic history on your own just because you're going to be saving money in the long run. Those 10 business days could be, you know, more crucial than those two hours that you spend filling it out. All right, I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. So for those of you that are applying in April, you know, feel free to email me. I'll look over your personal statements, help you with your application if you need to. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and if you're not subscribed already please subscribe for more videos don't forget to be like my blood type be positive thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one peace